Hello, Brielle here from the help desk room 200. Today I'm showing you Study Blue. Study Blue is a great source to use when you're trying to study vocab or anything else that you need flashcards for, except it's online, which helps you a lot. Um, you can make a free account at studyblue.com. It just asks for an email and a password, and you can also link it to the high school you're in. Once you do that, you'll hit make cards. You can see here, this is my card list, my recently studied, and you can also see a little, um, like 77%, 57%, that's how much I increased and made progress in that list. Um, my newest list, The Mighty and the Meek, is what I've been studying and I just created. So when you create these, you can also edit them or print them. When you edit them, you can add new cards. So when we have diction words as well, I can just type in the term here and the definition here and hit tab or add card and that will add it in the list and it will save but I always hit save just to make sure and hit done. Um, you can also rename it so if like next week's set of words it will have a different title so I'll change it to whatever that title is when I make a new set of cards. And it always asks for a location, which I always put in unfiled items. But you can also put it in a class or you can add an interest. You can also upload notes. And you can search for notes as well. Um, so you just type in whatever subject you need or they have a bunch already listed. So for me, English. And it shows all the ones at Penn Manor already that their list that's already created. And you can actually, if you click on one of them, you can actually study off of theirs too, which is pretty cool. So when you make your set of cards it will have a progress percentage up here um, you can flip cards so if you just want five cards at a time so apprehensive flip anxious or worried and then it will have a thumbs up or thumbs down do you think you know it now or do you not if you don't you just hit that and it will just have you go over it once again. Alright, finish studying. And I got one wrong. Because I hit one wrong. And then you can take a quiz. You can do multiple choice, true or false, fill in the blank. You can choose hardest, easiest, least studied, random, in order. And you can choose how many, 5, 10, 20, or everything. When there's a little box around it, that means you chose it. And then you just hit study now and you study away. And just pick whatever answer it is and then hit grade my quiz. And I'm done. And it will show you how many you got right and got wrong and also what you what the right answer is. There's also an app. I know you can get it on the Apple phone for free. Um, it's very similar to the actual website and it's very easy to navigate. And the website is very easy to navigate as well. So if you ever have any questions about Study Blue, you can always come down to room 200 or like I said, it's very easy to navigate and I know that I don't know who else has used it, but 
I know that I can help you and other students can help you figure it out. Thanks for listening. Have a good day. Bye.